We're here today at the Western Port Ramsar site, just at the Turidan boat ramp. We're about to go on a tour of the, of the bay to showcase to the community the significant environmental values uh, that form part of this area. The CMA works with a range of stakeholders and delivery partners to help protect these values and we've got really great relationships with um, public land managers including um, Alison here from Parks Victoria who undertakes some um, pretty important programs uh, to help improve these sites. So Alison, do you want to tell us a bit about the work that you're involved in? Yeah, so Parks Victoria manage a lot of the coastal area and it cuts some of the islands in Western Port Bay, yep. um, of which are of high international significance. So I am able to undertake programs such as Red Fox and feral pig control to help protect the salt marsh area that the migratory and wader species use to forage and feed. So by controlling those predatory species, we're able to protect the native wildlife and migratory species that call this place home. The biosphere is uh, a unique region, recognised internationally by UNESCO. This area, because of its environmental qualities and diversity with three marine national parks, it's a Ramsar site. It also has uh, terrestrial reserves and national parks and it is unique. It's high tourism value, high conservation value. So what our role is to try and inform people of those values, encourage them to be proud of those values and to promote the region. We work with a multitude of people in partnerships. What we try to do is collaborate. We try to get people together to get work done that couldn't be done if they didn't all work together. And that's what we try to achieve. Our job is really to work with landholders to develop water management plans around their properties. So what happens to the water if it's not managed properly is that sediment and nutrient runs off and uh, uh, comes into the bay here or into, into the creeks and rivers and that um, disturbs the whole ecosystem. I think the change is happening here quite quickly actually. We're having a lot of landholders come to us now and ask to be involved in the program because they want to do better than they are now. And some of them are doing a really good job and others are just starting on that journey but uh, they're all keen to do better. And there are species here that are there nowhere else in the world. So, And there's so many species here, it's very diverse. So the, the fish eat the uh, invertebrates that live on the, the bottom sediment and in those that seagrass and the, uh, and the birds, the water birds eat those, uh, those fish. This program wouldn't be run so well without community support. It's integral to the work that we do, that we have community on board, and that we're able to undertake the work with, with them in mind, as well as the conservation of these species. 